Good evening. Hello. Hello, evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Alma. Hello, Carlos. Good hello, evening. evening. Hello, teacher. Hey, I only have three people connected. What's going on? Ah, we're still uh, missing some people, right? I mean, at some minutes, we're still missing some minutes, okay? It's 7.58, okay? Now, I hope we're going to have a great time together today. And we are going to continue learning something. Hello, Ceci Bell. Hello. Good evening, Ceci Bell. Good to see you here. Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm really happy to see you over here. Uh, I'm really happy to see Alma also. Alma Yvette uh, participates uh, frequently in the class. And also Irving. Hello, Mr. Villeda, right? Irving Villeda. Hello, teacher. Hello. 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 Hey, how are you today? You are like very energetic to start. Hey, did you drink some coffee? Hey, did you have some coffee? <laughs> I hope you you have some co some coffee with you so that we can start <laughs> uh, the class with energy. Okay. Hello, Kenya. Hello, good evening, Kenya. How's it going? Hey, good evening, teacher. Hello. Kike. I'm pretty good. Excellent. I'm I'm happy to know about it. Okay, I have five people and still waiting for Carlos. Do you have something to tell us? Carlos Ernesto? Yeah. Can... That... Okay, Did... tell us, Carlos. It was a great day and I feel great because ah. now we start the class. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, I feel the same way. I mean, I, I really feel very, um, very happy when I get into the class. Okay. So I hope that you keep uh, working really hard during this uh, session because you know, we have a lot of activities. Hey, I wonder if you are ready, if you are ready to take the midterm um, this week. Hello, Wilson. I can see Wilson. Wilson got into the class. Hello, Wilson. Hello, teacher. Hey, how's Hi. everything? How's everything there? Good? Good. Okay, I can see that Gloria is just getting into the class. Hello, Gloria. Hello, Gloria. And I also have Rebecca Michelle. Hello, Rebecca. Hi, teacher. Hi. How's, how's everything? Good? Everything is okay. Okay. What about you? Just fine. Happy to see you again. <laughs> Great. Uh, I, I, I wonder if you could solve the problem with the, with the, with the camera. If you haven't done it yet, okay, it's all right. But... Uh, you know, it's quite important for me to see you, that you are just, that you are paying attention, that you are participating, that you are um, repeating the word. Hello, George. Jorge David. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Uh, I, I saw that you ha you were like interacting in, in the WhatsApp group. Uh, well, for me, fantastic that you are like keep keep um, working there and that you help each other. Okay, so we're going to start. I have 10 people connected. I wonder what's going on with the rest. It's, it's eight, it's one minute after eight. Okay, but anyways, we're going to start. Okay, you know, I hope, you know, tomorrow you are going to have your midterm, okay? Tomorrow, you can start working on that tomorrow. I'm gonna, gonna. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you are going to take the time, you know, uh, to get a, a good creator, an excellent grade. I want you to get an excellent grade. Fight for it, okay? Fight for it. Try to do your best, okay? Try to get a 10 because that's important. Somehow, it tells us that you are doing an excellent job 
And you know, being in this course is um, amazing because over here, we try to do our best and you know, it's eight o'clock, we work okay. from eight to nine, so we need to take advantage of the English course. It's, I mean, it's, it um, tell me. Uh, Fatima. Yeah, yesterday I love this scene. Yesterday? Uh, I love lots the scene. No, no sé si lo digo bien. So, what, what do you mean, Cecibel? Ayer se me fue la señal y me sacó ah, una vez. Yeah. <laughs> eh, eh, we noticed about it, eh, Cecibel. Uh, well, don't worry because eh, I could notice that you had that problem. I, I saw the information in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay, okay. don't worry. Teacher. All right, Cecil. I can see that Fatima wants to say something. Fatima. I saw Fatima raise her, her hand. Fatima, Elisa, hello. No, no, Fatima, no, okay. Okay, people, now I have uh, 13 people now connected in the class. Fatima says, teacher, if I can answer, it's because I'm still at work. All right, Fatima, I understand. Let me see, Fatima, I, I will write down something here. Okay, Fatima, but I noticed that you are in the class now. Well, you know what? I, I have an activity for you because there is something that you need to understand. And that when you get into a course, you have to see... Um, the advancement that you are just having in English, okay? If you notice, if you can see it, if you can see it, if you can touch your results, now you are going to get more motivated in learning English, okay? So for me, it's very important that you, that you uh, create something in English, and besides that, that you practice English, that you create something. If we create something in English, we are done. I mean, you are going to start uh, working by your own. Okay, I will uh, continue being your teacher. I will help you as much as I can. But when you practice, when you create your own information, it's better. Okay, and I will switch it. I will say that in, in Spanish because um, it's very important for me that to tell you that in and that you get a message as clearly as possible. Um, para mí es sumamente importante que ustedes creen. Oigan bien lo que vamos a hablar en esta en esta noche. Por ahí tengo una actividad que en donde ustedes van a poner a prueba lo que han estado aprendiendo. Okay, ya les voy a decir qué es. Y les decía en inglés que para mí es sumamente importante que ustedes puedan palpar sus éxitos. ¿Ok? Porque de nada sirve que yo esté hablando inglés, 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 pero lo más importante en, en estas sesiones son ustedes. O sea, yo necesito que ustedes creen algo en inglés, que estén pensando en inglés, que pronuncien en inglés lo mejor que puedan, que su ritmo eh, cuando hablen se, se oiga de manera natural, etcétera, etcétera. Si ustedes se fijan en nuestras sesiones anteriores, yo he estado remarcando eso, ¿verdad? Porque si ustedes pueden palpar sus logros, entonces van a decir, wow, esto sí funciona, esto sí me está ayudando, pero necesitamos hacer un esfuerzo, ¿verdad?, Hay que hacer un esfuerzo. Y ya les voy a decir de qué se trata la actividad. No está difícil, pero vamos a comenzar con pasitos así, en, en donde ustedes vean que sí, 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 pueden crear algo en inglés, ¿ok? Vamos a, a ir un poco a, con respecto a la clase, a los temas que tenemos ahí pendientes. Y les decía que eh, mañana pueden eh, trabajar en el midterm, ¿ok? Traten de obtener los mejores resultados. Acuérdense que un 80% es lo, lo indicado, de 80% para arriba. ¿verdad? Yo sé que lo pueden lograr. Y este, luchen por eso, obtener resultados tanto en la plataforma, 
acá en la clase, fuera de la clase, crear oraciones, buscar vocabulario, eh, etc. Todo eso les va a ir abonando en su aprendizaje. Ok, ok. No. Okay, teacher, it is hard for me to speak English. Ah, ok, Cecibel, da, eso no está mal, Cecibel, que nos cueste inglés no está, no tiene nada de malo. Lo, lo malo que puede suceder es que, no, que nos um, desmotivemos, eso sí teacher, es malo. Diga, Irvi. Alguien escribió en el grupo ahorita que tiene, tiene problemas para ingresar a, 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 la, a la reunión. Oh. ¿Quién sabe? Montano, dice. No sé quién es Montano. Jorge, creo que. No, Christopher escribió. Sí, Christopher fue el que escribió. Bueno, yo según veo la imagen, creo que tiene un problema con, con su aplicación. Esperemos que la termine de, de, de solventar y que pueda ingresar. Pero de todas maneras, ahí queda en el chat de que tuvo problemas, entonces yo, eso, eso los, lo toma en cuenta, este, eh, los compañeros que toman la existencia y las observaciones del caso, así que no sí, se preocupen. Pero ya entró, es rápido montano. Ah, ok. No, no sé si ya, ya tú, ya habló la... Ok, uh, me sí, escucho. Oh, ah, very good, Christopher. That's fantastic. Welcome. Yeah, you know, I, I highly appreciate that. Yo realmente aprecio eso, que ustedes wow, luchen por estar acá. Eso, eso me emociona aún más. Y me va a emocionar aún más cuando los vea que ya, wow, su inglés ya está mucho más elevado. Vamos a lo que nos compete, ¿ok? ¿Les parece? Ya, vamos a, ya van a empezar a trabajar por sí solitos. Ya les voy a dar un tiempecito para que ustedes empiecen a trabajar y a crear sus propios recursos para repasar. Pero vamos ahorita a lo, a lo, a lo que tenemos por ahí pendiente, ¿ok? Let me see. I have something here. Let me see. Knowledge. Yeah, this is the one. Ok, yesterday. Yes, let me see. Somebody. Sandra. Okay, Sandra is just coming home. Sandra Guadalupe. All right, Sandrita. It's okay. I understand. I will check it down here. Okay. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about um, um, different places, right? And actually, what we tried to learn yesterday was something related to prepositions of place. Do you remember? And we got like different places in town. We recognize different places in town. Now, um, it, it, there are um, different, different places where we can get books, we can get medicine, we can get um, uh, food. Um, we can get a lot of things, right? Different places around, I mean, downtown. Downtown, in our city, and we studied that yesterday. Today, we're somehow we're going to continue talking about it, but it will be a little bit different. We're gonna go over a listening activity, okay? The knowledge check that we're, that we're accustomed to uh, going through, and over here, well, we're going to try to do the same. Uh, we're going to listen to the audio. I will ask some people to tell you what's going on about it. And if we have different sections, so you are going to tell me what's going on there. Okay. Okay, let me see because I need a pen. Okay. Sorry. Now, here we go. I hope that you are ready, that you uh, pay special attention to the information. And at the end, remember, acuérdense, siempre que estemos en una actividad de esta de audio, lo que yo les voy a pedir es concentración, que recopilen toda la información que, que puedan, que si quieren tomen apuntes, no hay, no hay problema, pero cuando yo les pregunte, uh, traten de, de, de responder con la información que escuchan. Si acaso no lo logran, no logran este, recopilar mucha información y yo les hago una pregunta referente al audio y no la tienen, entonces lo único que dicen es, I am sorry, I don't know, I didn't get the info. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, knowledge check. All right. Page 89, exercise six, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Number three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. The last one, people. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. All right. Four conversations, okay? Uh, I hope that you could get as much info as possible. Okay, um, conversation number one. What can you tell me about it? What is the conversation all about? Uh, what is the place they are looking for in the first? Do you wanna do you wanna listen to it second time? The bank. Uh, it's the, all... bank. the bank. Second time, please. <laughs> okay, I will play a second time. Okay, so that you can listen to it clearly. If you want, you can also close your eyes and listen carefully to it. Okay. Now, second time. Here we go. Be ready. Page 89, exercise okay. six. Move Listening. Up the picture, please. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. All right. Four. The last one. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. All right. Now that was it, right? Now let's, let's go over the, the information. Conversation num number one. Where are they going? Uh, what, what did you get about conversation the number one? The huh? bank. The bank. The bank. Uh, they are the talking bank. about. They are, they, they are going to the bank. You bank. have Luft department store, the bank, or Maria's restaurant. You say the bank, right? Okay. 
Now, it's conversation number two. Let's see, I will, I will ask uh, to Alba Luz. Alba Luz, what did you get, Alba? Where are they, where are they going? You have three different different options. You have Love Department Store, Davis Drug Store, or Maria's Restaurant. Now, if you if you don't have it, if you don't have it clearly, David Davis the Hoster. Okay, Davis Davis Drug Store. Estoy en clase, mamá. All right, Davis Drug Store. Okay, now let's see, let's see, Christopher Raúl. What did you get about conversation number three? Where are they going? Christopher. Christopher was the one who had problems, right? But he finally got into the class. Christopher, Raul. Okay, Diana Gabriela, what did you get about conversation number three? Es, está en the Luft Department Store. Luft Department Store. Okay, it's mm -hmm. the first option then. Okay, let, we will see it later, okay? In the number four, number four, where are they going? Let me see. Uh, Gloria Carolina, where are they going? It's number three. Uh, Maria's restaurant. They are going to yes, Maria's, Maria's restaurant. They are going to Maria's restaurant. All right. Now listen carefully because we are going to try. We're going to try to answer complete uh, by using complete sentences. If I ask, if I ask you, hey, where are they going? Where are they going? Diana, hello, Diana. Teacher, me equivoqué en la que usted me dijo de where are you going? Es no. la de Maria's restaurant, no es Luf. La, usted me preguntó la número tres. No, three. Y yo le dije la de Luf, ¿verdad? Uh, uh -huh. es Maria's restaurant. It's about Maria's restaurant, okay. Do you, want, yes. do you want to change your answer? Sí, yes, please. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Very good. No, no problem. I mean, if you want to correct something, it's all right. Listen. Whenever you are asked a question like, hey, where, where are they going? Don't tell me only the man, right? So try to try to try to use complete sentences because the more you practice English, it's better. They say they are going to the bank. Okay, if I ask, for example, um Iris Elizabeth, where are they going? In the number one. They are going to the bank. They are going to the bank. So that is the way to answer, right? Uh, thank you. What about if I ask in the number two, Hector? Hector, where are they going? Hector couldn't get into the class yesterday. Well, maybe he has some. Hector? No. Okay. Now, if I ask Jorge Alberto, hey, Jorge, where are they going? Okay, Jose Herrera, thanks for letting, letting me know about it. Okay. Hey, but listen, the point is that whenever you are asked about answering a question, it's like, hey, where are they going? And then you answer, well, they are going to the, they are going to Davis Drugstore. And that's a complete sentence. It's better, right? It is better. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to check the answers. We're going to see what's going on there. If we got a 10 over here. In the first one, all right, they are going to the bank. In the second one, they're going to Davis Rock Store. In the third one, they are going to Maria's Restaurant. In the number four, 
Wow, it was about the Marvel boys, the... Marvel is, Marvel is shows. Marvel yeah, shows. Right. They, they are going to their favorite. They're going to. They're going. They. They are going to uh, favorite shoes. All right, so they're going to buy. They're going, uh, they going favorite shoes. All right, so it was the second one, right? So I think it's better now. Okay, they are going to get their favorite shoes. All right, so that's the way it is. Now, actually, we did a great job, and you see, let me see. We still have a, a lot of time. Okay, and. Let's see, we're gonna try to advance. The lesson objective for, for this part of the, of the lesson, I mean, for this part of the class is to know, um, to know about how to ask for and give directions. I share a link in, in the WhatsApp group so that you could see some expression to, to ask for and give directions, okay? Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real context. Okay. And we are going to see what's going on there. This is the conversation. All right. So let us see, I think. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and look up. Okay, give me one second because um, we, we have to see what's going on with this conversation. Uh, we have a Taurus a person and we have a woman, right? And, you know, um, we're gonna check the pronunciation as we usually do it. Okay, I will try with this one. I will try with this. Okay, now I wonder if there is someone who wants to help me with uh, to read the conversation. I want to listen to Jorge, no, Jorge David, and also I need a lady, Judith. Judith, Jorge David, please, could you uh, could you help us with the with the conversation, Jorge? And also Judith. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do you get to a street Patrick Cathedral? Well, Judith is not on here. Catherine Judith. Well, why don't you help him, Julio Cesar? Uh, just wall, wall up. 15th Avenue to fight the street. St. Patrick's is on the right. It's near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is the it far from here? It is right be behind you. Just, just turn around and look up. All right. Okay, now listen carefully because today is, we're gonna practice, okay? Uh, the conversation and we are gonna try to get the right pronunciation. 
about the words. Okay, I will play the second time. I will play the second time. No, but listen, I have some words that you should that you should practice. Fifth, fifth, fiftieth, fiftieth, fiftieth. Whenever you have a word that has an S sound, try to pronounce it. If it says Patrick's, Patrick's. All right. If you say state, okay. State. The problem state. is the problem is that if you if you mispronounce the word, then you are going to say like this, right? A, a state. Is that the word? Se escribe así la palabra? No. No. Entonces cuando cuando yo pronuncio no y, y la palabra comienza con una S, no voy a pronunciar la E. La E no existe acá. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer el sonido. State. 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 Ah, oigan que es súper genial, se les oye. State. 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 So there are some words that when you listen to a, a, to converse, a, to a conversation, try to get uh, the right pronunciation. I will play it a second time. Let me see if, if it is possible. Is it far from here? Teacher, it's tell, right behind. You have tell me, tell me. Tell me. Over. Repeat. Eh, arriba eh, de, en la conversación de Tourist, donde dice, excuse me, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia la M, la coma, la I, la M? Mom. Um, yeah, the, the, yeah, that is Madame, right? So, but you you will listen to it. Listen, listen. Help carefully. me. How do I get to Saint Patrick's Cathedral? Give me one second, please. Now listen, listen. Excuse me. Uh -huh, the first part is excuse me. Excuse me. All right, everybody. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now listen. Can you help me? Now listen. How do I, you help me? How do I you help me? Excuse me, ma'am. Can uh, what did you get? How did you listen to this part? Excuse me, me ma'am. All right, excuse me, ma'am. Can you Can help, me? help me? Excuse me, ma'am. All right. Can I just help me? Oh, remember, remember people to, to, to turn off your microphone. Hey, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Now it's a, it's an activity in which we we need to listen to carefully, right? To the pronunciation, and we can repeat uh, the words. But let us try to 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 I mean to keep our microphone in a silent way. Here we go. Can you help me? Can you help How me? How do I get to Saint Patrick's Cathedral? All right. How do I get to Street Patrick's Cathedral? How do I get to? Como llego a? How do I get to? All right. So the guy is like looking for. Just the, walk. The guy is looking for a, a specific place, right? And that is Patrick's Cathedral. And then the lady provides some some uh, direction. Look up Fifth Avenue to Fiftieth Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and... Now, now that we got, uh, I mean... We, we like let's um, discuss a little about pronunciation okay you can do it by your own you can practice as many times as possible and listen to it as many times as possible so that you can um, um i mean you can you can get it all right we are going to practice some uh, sentences Thank is it far from here Give then me look second. up let's practice these now these are the ones that i want you to notice okay phrases and vocabulary to give directions.
How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Now look, you have the information over here in Spanish. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Now, who wants to help me to read this poem? Oh, let me see. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Jorge, please read the question, please. The other you're not me. <laughs> uh, no, it's not right. Okay, Jorge Alberto, I think Jorge is not in the class. We will we will see later. Jose Enrique, please read the question. Teacher, I can. Yeah, sure. Okay. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? How do I get to the Rockefeller Center? Now, what is the answer? Listen. Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Okay, who wants to help me to read the, the, the second question? Okay, how can I get to Bryant Park? How can I get to Bryant Park? Uh, what is the answer? Listen. Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. It's on the left. All right. So there are different ways to ask. I mean, the, over here we have two questions, right? How do I get to or how can I get to? How do I get or how can I get to? Two different questions. If, in order to ask for a, a specific place. And you can see there are comments that we studied uh, before. Okay, like walk up, go up to Fifth Avenue, turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. It all depends on, on the direction that you are providing, right? Walk down, what well, is the opposite? Go down, go down Fifth Avenue, turn right on the 42nd Street, or it's on the left. I mean, those are a, a couple of examples, okay? Now, so let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to, and we mention a place. Or, how can I get to, then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be how do I get to New York Public Library or how can I get to 
New York Public Library. The first instruction would be walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary, turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. All right, and over here is where we're gonna start working. Okay, now listen, people. Then look up. Now. Over here is where you are going to start working. Aquí es donde ustedes van a empezar a trabajar en su, en su práctica um, significativa. Eh, van a tener dos actividades. Okay. Necesito que en pareja, que ustedes se coordinen en pareja y que me digan esta conversación de la mejor manera posible. Lo mejor que ustedes pueden hacer. Esa es una. La segunda actividad en la cual van a empezar a trabajar también es en crear una situación similar a esta. ¿Ok? Va a crear una, una situación en donde alguien está buscando cierto lugar eh, y usted le va a dar las indicaciones a, a esta persona. ¿Ok? Uh, pueden usar eh, las herramientas digitales que ustedes consideren necesarias uh, e inclusive pueden eh, visitar eh, YouTube, uh, ver uh, alguna situación por ahí y adaptarla a lo que ustedes nos quieran presentar en la clase. Entonces, vamos a empezar a practicar. Ustedes deciden con cuál de las dos van a iniciar. Yo les recomendaría que eh, practiquen primero esto y ya luego empiecen a crear su, su propio, um, eh, eh, empiecen a pensar en su propia situación. Ok, mientras ustedes trabajan en eso, yo les voy, yo les voy a pasar lista. Ok, en lo que ustedes se ponen de acuerdo, ok, ya tienen sus contactos allí en el WhatsApp, pueden coordinarse por, ahí, por ese medio y ver cómo lo van a desarrollar, ok. Eh, cuando yo termine de pasar lista voy a preguntar cómo han quedado las parejas, con quién usted va a trabajar. Ok, let me see.
Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me, Gloria. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo nos vamos a reunir para trabajar? ¿Va a ser algunas salas externas o lo hacemos por WhatsApp? Lo pueden hacer por WhatsApp. Ok. okay lo pueden hacer por WhatsApp. Ustedes coordinan, se ponen a practicar. Acuérdense que este, esas prácticas para mí son sumamente importantes. Porque me aseguro que ustedes van a, van a eh, pronunciar bien. Van a tratar de generar eh, la situación lo mejor que puedan y usar los diferentes ritmos. Y este, pues la práctica hacia el maestro. Eso. Teacher, en el caso nuestro con Jenny Carolina, ella no tiene WhatsApp. ¿Cómo podemos hacer para coordinarnos? Uh, let me see. ¿No tiene WhatsApp ella? No, dice que no. No, teacher. Uh, ¿pueden no utilizar... tengo. Se me ha apagado el teléfono donde tengo el WhatsApp. Ah, bueno, pero acá veo que algunos están coordinando en el, en el chat. ¿Pueden usar el chat de Zoom? Sí, ahí, pero, o sea, para practicar la conversación. Eh, cada quien vaya a la, a la plataforma y escuche, escuche el video. Solo tienen que elegir quién va a ser el, la parte del turista y la otra persona quién va a ser, eh, quién va a dar la, las indicaciones, las direcciones. Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher, pero verdad que ahí, a ver si entendí bien, nosotros vamos a, a poner este, por ejemplo, al lugar que nosotros queremos llegar. Ajá. En este caso, no, ¿verdad? En lo que, está, en lo que estamos viendo ahorita, no, esta conversación tal cual como está. Luego, después que ustedes eh, pronuncien bien esto y lo practiquen, van a crear una, su propia conversación. Si, este, si por cuestiones de tiempo, digamos, porque ustedes, yo sé que son personas ocupadas, eh, no, no tienen mucho tiempo como para estar creando la conversación, pueden visitar el YouTube, buscar una conversación, o pueden navegar eh, en Internet y buscar una conversación y nada más empezársela a aprender, que también es válido. The conversation is now or other class? I mean, uh, You are going to start preparing the conversation now. Van a empezar no, no. a preparar ahora. Quiero que se preparen con la pronunciación. Si, si ya lo logran, perfecto. Solo me dicen, teacher, ya estamos listos. Okay, okay, okay. And, uh, okay. The other conversation is other class. Yeah, it will be for tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay. It will be for tomorrow. Uh... Teacher. Hello. I have a question. Tell me, Alma. Eh, la situación tiene que ser con la misma dirección del ejemplo del no, video. I mean, uh, Lugares like, del país. Like, no, Ajá. I mean, esta que está aquí es tal cual la, la miramos aquí en el video, pero la que ustedes van a crear, no, eso ya queda abierto a lo que ustedes eh, eh, quieran este, decirnos. Okay. O sea, ustedes van a buscar la situación o la van a crear. Okay, thanks. All right. Veo que por ahí por el chat se están este, poniendo de acuerdo. Eso está perfecto. Ok, ya creo que lo terminé de pasar lista. No, me faltan algunos. Hello. Ahora hay alguien que no tenga pareja. Para mm. alguien. Porque estoy escribiendo en el chat, pero creo que no sé si está bien. Uh, ok, let me see. Hay alguien que, que todavía está buscando con quién trabajar. Salvador dice. Puede trabajar yeah. con Salvador. Ok. Ok. Tell me. I single. 
Christo, <laughs> but you're single and looking for, okay. <laughs> you're working alone, Christopher. Hey, who wants to work with Christopher? ¿Quién va a trabajar? Okay, Julio. Julio wants to work with you, Christopher. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Reina. Salvador. ¿Con quién iba yo, teacher? Oh, I don't remember, Salvador. Uh, okay, tell me. I will work with Norma Beatriz, but she didn't come Can because you? she Salvador. said. Uh, it's all right, okay, but uh, try to coordinate, right, your, your, your job, because I will ask you, I mean, if it is not possible tonight, I will, I will start tomorrow, okay, but everybody, I want everybody to participate. Okay, it is all okay. Right. All right. Salvador. Okay, people, I don't know. I hope that you... Um, start that you already started working on it Okay, so now, now you got directions about, about what I want you to do for today. I mean, for tonight and for tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if you have it clearly. Estamos claros con lo que eh, vamos a hacer, jóvenes. Estamos claros? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Uh, Teacher, tell me, Christopher. I have a question. Tell me. Eh, en teoría sería esta conversación y una ex. Exacto. Esta conversación, si ustedes la quieren leer, perfecto, no hay ningún problema. Lo que me interesa es que ustedes pronuncien bien. Ok, pero cuando yo les digo. Este, hacemos la, ya la seguimos ensayando mañana en la mañana o me, usted me avisa. Y luego hacemos la, la de nosotros, ya la, con una dirección, por decir algo, de San Salvador, de nuestro, ya de lo nuestro. Exactly, exactly, Cecibel. Algo que les voy, a, les voy a solicitar como grupo es que seamos empáticos. En el sentido de que, acuérdense que, eh, no sé si todos trabajan, ¿ok? Yo creería que sí, pero, pero imagínense, todos todos yendo al trabajo mañana tempranito. Eh, a, a muchos, crear una conversación puede que sea bastante difícil. Entonces, ahí ustedes entiéndanse y, y pregúntense cómo está Ajá, el eso, tiempo. Teacher, es, excuse me. Okay. Eso le estaba diciendo a, a mi pareja con quien nos pusimos de acuerdo de ser pareja. Eh, si gusta, yo lo hago, le digo, y luego los ponemos de acuerdo para ensayarla. Porque ahorita... Nos mandamos audio ensayando la conversación que tenemos actual. Exactly. That's, it. That's the way it is, right? Pueden practicar utilizando WhatsApp. Se mandan audio. Eso está súper. I know, I know. Send audio. With... No, send audio with uh, activate the Zoom. Do no, you listen? send audio. Do you listen to me now? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Um, ah. No se puede mandar audio si estamos activados la plataforma de Zoom. No, eh, no yo. No se oye. Ok, yo, yo, yo creería que lo van a hacer a través de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Por yeah, ahí. No, no, no deja ni llamada ni video si estamos desde la plataforma. Eso lo va a hacer después usted. Ah, sí, claro, eso, eso lo van a hacer luego. Por eso les decía que, vaya, si, si, si todos van a estar, digamos, van a trabajar, pues que sean, que, que sean empáticos, que, que se ayuden y que, pues, 
Si no hay tiempo para crear una conversación, busquen la conversación. Yo lo que estoy tratando es de que ustedes enriquezcan su, su vocabulario en inglés y que lo sepan usar. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Es there any other question? Uh, solo voy a chequear la, 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 la lista de tiendas, la, la lista de asistencia, y si me he equivocado en algo, pues ahí me corrigen. Eh, no escuché, por ejemplo, a, a participar a Héctor Adalberto. No sé si lo tenemos por acá. Sí, teacher, pero fíjese que tenía un montón de dificultad con el micrófono. Ah, de aquí acuerdo, mi Gracias, Héctor, por corregir. El día de ayer sí no se pudo conectar, ¿verdad, Héctor? Sí, sí, teacher, que vinieron unos familiares y tuve que atenderlos y no estaba en mi casa, sino que andaba en otro departamento. Perfecto, excelente. Lo, 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 es curioso porque yo veo que usted, pues casi a todas ha estado, solo a una que nos ha fallado, pero la verdad que los felicito por ese esfuerzo que hacen. Jorge sí, Alberto. Teacher, ahí me va a disculpar. Muchas okay. gracias, Ticha. Ok. Jorge Alberto Ramos. Ok, Jorge Alberto es not over here. I don't listen to him. José Enrique Orellana. Catherine Judith. Norma Beatriz. En Edita del Carmen. Ok, so, dos people. Si no los mencioné es porque pues ya, ya noté que sí, sí estuvieron acá. Entiendo que hay algunos que sí se les dan algunas dificultades y es, es, es I mean, es normal. Um, I don't know if you have any question. Mañana, chicos, hagan el midterm. Traten de obtener los mejores resultados. Ok, estoy confiando que, que los van a obtener. Ok, eh, síganse ayudando a través de WhatsApp. Eh, cuando yo de repente entro al, al grupo, yo veo que algunos pues están ayudando a, a resolver algunos ejercicios. Eso está súper. Ok. Uh, y pues. Y good luck. Buena suerte para el día de mañana con el midterm eh, y con la conversación. Acuérdense, son dos conversaciones. Eh, creería yo que pues voy a pedir porque porque no nos vamos a gastar toda la hora. Eh, en una conversación, ¿verdad? Voy a pedir participantes, algunos voluntarios y este, a lo mejor yo elijo a, a algunas otras parejas, ¿verdad? Pero este, vamos a tratar de que, de combinar, ¿verdad? La práctica de la conversación, no sabemos a quién, a quién les voy a decir yo que, que la diga y pues algunos van a ser voluntarios, así que todos tienen que estar listos, por favor, no me van a decir... I'm sorry, teacher, I'm not ready. Eso es lo que yo menos quiero escuchar el día de mañana. Que alguien me diga, no estoy listo, o no lo practiqué, o no busqué la información. No, eso no. Ok. I don't know if there any question. ¿Hay alguna pregunta? No. I play with chocolate. Like chocolate. <laughs> Quiero ver Catherine Roxana. Ahorita reviso Catherine. Sí, Catherine. Catherine, ya yes, yeah, todo está, está bien con la lista de tiendas. All right. So tomorrow we will continue talking about how to ask for and give directions in English, which is a topic that's a uh, quite uh, quite good uh, to practice. Uh, we don't know if you are going to travel to the United States, and you know the United States is a big country. And if you go, for example, to LA, LA is bigger than El Salvador, so there are a lot of places there. And we don't know if if you are in charge of asking for a uh, directions or giving directions, you need to be clear about how to do so. Como dicen, eh, eh, como preguntan. En inglés, sobre cómo llegar a un lugar. Se aprendieron esa pregunta, ¿verdad? 
What is the question? ¿Cómo es la pregunta? Uh, how do I get to? Or how can, can I get to? How do I get to? Or how can I get to? Right? And, and then you are the, the, the place you want to get. All right, that's it. Pretty good. So I think that's all. And um, I, I hope that you continue practice English um, tonight, tomorrow, and the whole week. Uh, let us see tomorrow, people. God bless you. Nos vemos mañana, chicos. Bendiciones. See you tomorrow. 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 Okay, everyone. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night teacher. Eh, disculpa, teacher, que, que solo quería saber si me apuntó en la lista. ¿Quién es Margarita? Sí, es que por estar en el chat con la compañera no. No la escuché. Sí, Kenia. De hecho, la felicito porque usted no ha faltado ninguna vez a clase. Ah, ok. Muchas gracias. Thanks. Excelente. Great job. Have a nice night. All right. Good Bye. night. Bye. Bye. Hi, teacher. Hi, Joseph. I am here. Uh, uh, Jose Herrera. Yes. Yeah, let me see if I got... José Herrera, la decía. Ok, José Herrera, felicitaciones. También usted no ha faltado a ninguna de las clases. See you tomorrow, buddy. Ok, good night.